Welcome to the second tutorial in MATLAB. In this tutorial, we are going to continue talking about variables and arrays. And we will see some examples on that and show the difference between matrix and vectors. Simply for defining or declaring a variable, just as we said in the first tutorial, you write the variable name and assign a value to it then you will have a declared variable unlike in other programming languages that you need to declare the, var the variable before and specify its type like integer or character or anything else so also you can type the decimal type also and here we have the x equal 4.5 and if you type just a simple word a simple number and press enter you will get the default variable name which called ans answer so this is a default variable name it can also use for example if we type answer ans plus ans it will get the summation of these two variable numbers so this is a default variable in matlab and now let's talk about arrays which contain more than one variable so let's have array called r equal and then choose these brackets do square brackets and then adding a number or the number of variable inside that array for example one two three and space between them so now we have array and as we see in the workspace we have an array with let's expand the we have the array here it's called r one two three and you can see the minimum and the maximum value that matlab calculated and to know the type of the variable just we can type whose this command whose are so your variable are are so or we can write whose are and this time it bring us the size of the array one by three and the size of it in bytes and the class is double so now if we want to create a multiple array so in this way it's called a matrix so to define a matrix let's choose another h equal and square brackets one two three this is the first row and use the semicolon to assign the second row let's say four five six so now we have a matrix two by three so if we type who is h we can see the matrix is two by three so the difference now between one row array or one column array and multiple rows or columns is the name we can call this one the h is matrix and the one with only one row or one column for example we have r is called a vector so to assign another vector with the columns 
equal and you choose square brackets one semicolon two semicolon three and close and now we have a vector or one column vector with three rows